What is up, my dudes? Uh, welcome back to a new video. And today, I am going to be showing you my football table. It's pretty cool. Well, I got that Star Wars thing, but what? And that. And that. And that. And that. But so we're just going to be focusing on the main stuff. AKA the stuff in the front. So, first of all, we're gonna start with. Oh, frick, I can't get it. Okay. Jack Ham Mini Helmet. For um, the people who don't know, Jack Ham is a. used to be a linebacker for the Steelers. We got. We actually got this from. There's a website called Pristine Auctions. At this website where, like, you can bid on stuff. And, um. Yeah, we got that out, but out of a bid, it was like a mystery box helmet, and we got Jack Ham, and I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty cool. Okay, so next we have the Steelers football. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't know why I did this, but hold on, Barry Sanders, go for a second. Okay, I don't know why I did this, but I didn't show the Levon Bell signature. There's Levon Bell right there. Levon Bell. I have the card for it and everything to prove that true and whatever. But I like the back of it where it should. This video just like. I don't even know. Okay, so, anyways. um, I like the um, back of it because it shows all the Super Bowls that the Sewers have been in. And it's really cool. See, so yeah. Super Bowls versus Vikings, Super Bowls versus Cowboys. Hold on. Uh, Super Bowls versus Cowboys again. Super Bowl versus Rams. I mean, Steelers versus Rams. I'm an idiot. Uh, Steelers versus Seahawks. And then Steelers versus Cardinals. And I just like the, like, the um, that the Steelers in general get the little gold sign. And I think it's really cool. Okay, so, um, next we have this. Tantuan Randall L. He used to be a wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Of course he isn't anymore, uh, but still. You got all the stats in the back. Height, 5'10", weight, 194, born 79 in Riverdale, Iowa, Illinois, I don't know. He went to India College, and his home is Markham, Illinois, I, I really don't know. Uh, Randall L., was a true multiple threat in the college ranks, terrorizing opponents on the ground and through the air. He is he's the only player in the NCAA Division I dash A history to with six thousand or more hold on, that's my line. Six thousand or more career passing yards and three thousand or more yards on the ground. Yet he's so versatile, the Steelers will use him as a receiver. You got uh, all that, all that extra information. Yeah, so that one's pretty cool, I guess. Not signed or anything, but I did think it looks pretty neat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Blackout. Okay, so next we got this. It's Barry Sanders. For you deaf people, there it is. Barry Sanders, running back lines. Uh, you got some information on the back as well. All that, you can pause that and read that if you want to. Hold on, let me get clear and stuff. Yeah. But anyways, you get the point. There's a picture of Barry Sanders right there. And then we got the main attraction right here. We got Antonio Brown full-size helmet. Now, now, here's the proof it's real. You got the card on the back here. It's like stuck on there and you got you got Antonio Brown's signature now most of you are wondering why I don't have a case for these things cuz I'm poor no what no other way to put it I'm poor so um yeah but still we also got this from all of this stuff right here we all got besides the all that stuff up there the sewer stuff we all got that out of the pristine auctions website so it's pretty cool. Yeah, so Antonio Brown. Kind of hard to read. Cursive. Yeah. 
You can't really wear it. Well, I mean, I probably you can wear it, but my head is gigantic. So yeah. Hold on, let me put that up there. Okay, so here we have Antonio Brown mini helmet. Now, hold on. Now I put the mini helmet under the big helmet over here, and I thought that looked pretty neat. It really does. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You got your thing in the, in the, in the, in the inside of it. I'm sorry, I had to think for there for a second. Yeah. So um, let me know. I'm kind of debating this if I should put this like on top of the jack ham helmet, like right, like that, or like beside him move the football, or I should still keep it under a big helmet. I really don't know at this point. Like they both look pretty neat. Yeah, so, tell me what you think in the comments. Yeah. Um. So that tree doesn't look too bad by itself. So either there, on the jackham thing, or beside him, and I'll move the football, or inside the Antonio Brown helmet. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically going to wrap up this video. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. Also, real quick, tell me if you want me to, um... Review any of this, uh, not review, uh, showcase all this other stuff, like football, all that stuff. Including that thing. That thing's gigantic. Okay, well, anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm getting pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Yeah. So, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.